Hey, what's good, everyone? McGlass man here. Look at the blade bearing here. Time to change it. It's giving us a little trouble, a little hard to turn. Got a new one right here. I got this in here a few days ago. Super excited to get this fixed. It's been it's been the last few weeks that's been a little tough to turn. Resident Zamboni driver Andy pointed it out. As you turn it, it gets a little a little hard to turn. Plus, there's a little play that I want to get out of there. And that's probably the result of it being a little hard to turn over the last month. Slipped out of place there. Because you look at this wheel over here, this wheel spins like a dream. You can move it back and forth really easy. The other one, you know, quarter turn. Kind of have to pull a quarter turn. Just really hard to turn it with this little knob right here. As you can tell, I'm kind of struggling here a little bit. So, as you can tell here, I'll get the light on. Let's see if I get the light on here. That It looks like it's been smashed up a little bit. And I could... I don't know really why. I mean, we've had a couple guys, unfortunately, drive the machine out without pitting the conditioner up, hence the videos I made. It is somewhat embarrassing. That's not what this video is about. This video is about replacing the, the bearing here, but I think when someone came off the rink and, and clipped the threshold, whatever, it kind of pushed the blade bar up and popped. Right here, you can kind of see, I gotta get my gloves back on. You can see that there is like a, a bad seal in there the bearing seal whatever you want to call it popping out there like on on here you can see on the top there this little ring that seems like it's a little bent up there so hopefully that's what's causing the hardness to churn so what i've done so far is i've gotten an allen wrench and i'll throw up here what size it is i forgot what size i used here at the right on the sides and i loosen this got turned around now since i spun it around a few times this Allen key right here. That's the one you want to get off first. And we're going to address this one right here. That one is kind of rusted in there. I sprayed some. There's a coil roll. This stuff right here is really great for getting stuff unloose. So I'm going to actually spray a little more in here just to get it loose. See how that goes in there. But I got that one loose. So all we got to do right now is kind of pop this thing up. There you go. Just like that. And the next thing right there, there is right here that's a little roll i may actually put this thing on to spin it back around so this is in front that's a little roll press ring so how i'm going to do this is i'm going to get a few blocks lined up to get right underneath the conditioner in such a way where i'm going to lower the conditioner down just so the blade bar is resting the, the back of the blade bar i'll show you pictures just rest it on those blocks because if you drop that thing out that the blade bar and everything since it's on tension with springs will just drop right down that's not what we want so we want to support that so it doesn't drop down with some wood blocks, but still give us some room to get to these bolts right here, which are kind of a pain in the butt, especially this one. It's in between the wash water hose and a, and a hard place with the blade wheel right here, the little mechanism that brings the, the pitches the blade up and down. So 9 16 on the bolts. So I'm gonna get it out from the bottom and the top. Andy's gonna help me, resident Zamboni driver. He's out in the ice right now. I'm getting everything prepped up. So when he gets out here, we're gonna you know, we'll get this through pretty quickly, I think. It may take us a half hour, but I want it two hands just in case up and down is going to be really greasy to get in there. So next step for me is just going to get everything set up. That way I can get the blocks in it resting so the, the blade bar doesn't pitch down when we remove this little coupling right there. This is a little rule pin that goes all the way through and prevents this is right here is what twists the blade up and down this little shaft here is hooked to some threads hooked to a little mechanism that kind of goes up and down so we don't want this to drop all the way through to the floor <laughs> when we take everything apart so let me get everything set up and kind of walk you through it as we go again thanks randy for coming out to help I'll see you here in a minute i just want to get the pressure off the blade bar Do you have the other one? Okay, I got it here if you want to get it on the top. Okay. Which one do you got? This, this one. Over here. Okay. Yeah. It's pretty loose. Okay, it's on. Okay. Uh, this 
So Andy here is trying to get the box side of the open box wrench around the hole. Okay, you got it. Pull that a little more. For the, the camera here, the little roll pin. So this is off. Um, I think we may have to give it a little whack in there. We lift it up, put the conditioner up, and then see if it's going to slide down. Mm, yeah, I think you'd be careful. Yeah. yeah. Drop it underneath. Like, slowly. I think I can try to pound this thing down. up against it, you know, like they're pulling up against the springs. So, I think I just do the same thing. Let me raise it up a little bit more. Not much to churn. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that much bolt there is hanging. 
Plenty of room to put a longer pole. There is actually plenty of room. I was actually thinking that in my mind. Oh, next time. Next time. That's fair. Just to note that there is a little beveled edge that goes down. go the key on but I, I still want to we can save it for another time but All right, there you have it. Get the blade bearing fixed. It's spinning nice and smooth. I'll tell you, you could actually use this handle now to go up and down before you kind of had to crank it by hand right here, a quarter half turns. But now it's spinning really nice. Got it some grease in there as you saw. Everything is good to go. A couple considerations. Go ahead, comment below because comments always make the channel better. I definitely don't know it all. You know, we, we got it done, but we definitely struggled with certain things in the process. One thing I want to mention, we did take the blade off. Probably something that you should be done, or at least put a cover over the blade. We actually have one just to protect yourself. We weren't really anywhere near the blade in, in, in a sense, or behind it, and you know, back of it and stuff. So, but just be careful, and as well as when you're blocking up the blade bar, because there is springs. That's why we use blocks. You kind of saw how we kind of lift the conditioner up and down to try to get things lined up and get things off. Just be really careful about how you set your blocks up. And go ahead and comment below if you guys know a better way, because I'm certainly open suggestions for everyone else here to learn, as well as me learn when I do this next time, make it a little bit smoother. Nevertheless, we got it all done. A couple of hiccups, not really hiccups, but a couple, you know, the, the hardest things was is really get the bolts back on. You know, the, the bolt's not really long. Maybe you could go with like a quarter inch, half inch longer bolt. I don't think it'd be in the way of anything. 
as well as getting that little pin out, that little roll pin. Just gotta make sure you got something. We took a, a screw like this, a machine screw, perfect size, and pounded it out, then grabbed it with some pliers and got it out. Other than that, I think everything went, you know, pretty smooth. It's kind of hard to get this thing off. The barrier was kind of falling apart, but to get this thing off right here, you just saw I did raise the conditioner up so it was kind of floating free and it pounded the thing down, the little the screw mechanism down. That's how we're able to get it up. Again, go and comment below if you know a better way to do that. And we're going to adjust this to another day right now. I mean, I tell you what, it's like 90 degrees out. I'm not exaggerating, which is so cowboys. 90 degrees is an average day for you, but up here in Northwest Washington, it's pretty hot, so we're sweating bolts here. I'm gonna get everything packed up, and we'll do this thing another day. How does a little play right there? I don't like that play. We can't get that screw out or that set screw. That thing's mashed out. It's rusted in there. I sprayed some uh, anti-seize in there. We'll see how, or not anti-seize, but some anti-rust. Whatever you want to call it, spray it in there. Hopefully it'll come loose. I don't think so. I think we'll end up getting the, I got an easy out. I can pound in there and twist it out, break it loose. We'll get another set screw in there. He may drill uh, it through to put something in there so it spins as a solid piece versus having a little play in there. So if your blade's really hard to turn, this is the first place I'll look. I replaced the baby around right there. You guys will be good to go. So I'm not sure if I add too much more of this. Again, call, throw some comments down there because comments make the channel better. That's all I got for you guys today. Thanks for watching. As always, hope you learned something. And like the localized man says, stay cool.